wall. It just like explodes. You should at least try to. Oh, oh, God, no, 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 no. It's on my set. <laughs> Can I punch this? When it's it comes to, yeah, sure, punch it. It's durable. It cracked. It did crack. <laughs> um, I might not have been fully truthful with you. Oh, when this it is comes down to what the video. It could be. It could be bad. It could not be bad. It could be everything. We'll find out. Um, so, do you know what a pepper mash is? No, I mean, I'm, it, it sounds like paste. It, it is basically what it is. So, these are three vials of just pure pepper mashes. You did the pepper mash. And we're going to taste them, and we're going to try them, and we're going to see how they are. So, we have a jalapeno pepper mash. It was so a, it's, it's literally just jalapeno. It was a graveyard smash. <laughs> and then we have habanero. This looks... It smells great. It looks terrible. Like, the yeah. consistency looks like the last thing you want to put out. Uh, and then if I can get it out it of the, even look like if it I can get it out of the box, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to get. That scared me. I thought I thought that was. If they don't have them, that's what everyone in the whole world is expected. Do you think this is a good hair gel? No, I don't. Don't put it in your hair. Okay, so we have three pepper mashes today. We have a jalapeno pepper mash. We have a habanero pepper mash, and then we have a ghost pepper pepper mash. Ghost pepper pepper mash. That was quite the sentence right there. Can I make a? Oh, I would have edited you there. I would have. You just said pepper a thousand times. Pepper 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 pepper. Can I make a prediction? Yes, you can okay. make a prediction. This is gonna is gonna taste good. Okay, you'll just be like, oh, I was not hot, but it tastes good. Okay. This is gonna be like, this is perfect. It has a good amount of heat, not too much. You're gonna want to use this. This sucks. <laughs> That's not what's gonna happen. The, kid, the children's story with the porridge, you know, like one's too hot, one's too cold, and three one's bears. the three bears. Like I feel like this is like the pepper version of the three little was bears. Was it mom's bears that was everything was just right? Something. Yeah, th this one's just right. <laughs> this one's too cold and this one's too exactly. hot. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just I'm hoping that this at least are flavorful and taste good. You wanna play that one game where we hide a ball underneath it and you gotta see what's underneath? I don't think it's gonna work. It, it would. It, 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 it would. It would work. It actually, it would work. It would. But you can see. Oh, it wouldn't work because they're different it just colors. Splashed everywhere. I know. Okay. I'm an idiot. And that'll be the game. You got to go like this. <laughs> and you smack it and catch mouth. it in your mouth. How dumb would we look? We'd be very dumb looking. Okay. Spoons. Your spoons right there. How much of this do you want to do, man? Oh, I'm throwing. I'm throwing stuff. <laughs> no coordination was brought to this this video. Here, you're leading the. You're leading the, the story. Remember that one time I, I cut up chicken nuggets because Casey didn't get us grilled and I didn't want to eat fried food and the oh, whole world lost its oh, mind. The internet said words. Oh, like they couldn't, I, I need to start doing that every video. You know, controversy, like there's no such bad thing as bad publicity. Same idea. This is a lot. So if you treat it like a like a like a ketchup bottle and you hit it like that. It's you got a lot. That's it. It's kind of working. You were a man. You probably get a, like, a good gerber. Is it? You're terrible dude, at that. touching the table, it just like explodes. You should, you should at least try to. Oh, oh, God, no, it's, it's on my set. Okay, dangerous. Don't hit the bottom of the table with these things. This is ridiculous. Sorry, it's dude. okay. I was trying. To, I was gonna do that and try to get it in. Here. I have a gigantic light above our heads, and it just okay. Light. So, uh, so this is jalapeno little, pepper mash. Little Gerber, Gerber spoonful. It's very I, salty. Oh my gosh, it's salty. It's like sardine hot sauce. It's very salty. Before I realized it was that salty, I wanted it on my tongue at all times. The fresh flavor of green jalapeno lends itself. It oh yeah, absolutely. Culinary uses jalapeno is a mild pepper and can be added to salsas, stews, breads, sauces, and dips. What? What? Who? Who are they to say what I can add it to? I'll add it to. They have recommendations, man. This you would should. be good. This would be a good addition to a it salsa. It just sounds though. like you're allowed to. Like you can do this. I, I, I want. This, as weird as it sounds, I want to like mix it with avocado and make like a. Uh, Oh, yeah. What you do about it, just like don't do boom. that? <laughs> yeah, I know you could like ruin someone's day um, with this. It's delicious. Yeah, no, um, I, those things would be good. What 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 about your white white You said avocado. Yeah. I, I, yes. Yeah. Like I want to make I want to make a guacamole with put this. that on. Even just put it on raw avocado and cut it. And Absolutely. It. I don't know why I'm thinking avocado, but this is like this this well, this is good. avocado. It's, it make. tastes really good. Oh, very high on the salted side of it though. So this it, is definitely like a salt replacement for sure. It makes me think this is going to be very hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because the, I can feel heat on that. Did you like do the? Uh, the bash into your tongue way. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. what I did too. Okay, we're moving on to oh. habanero. Each bottle comes with a little uh, a little pendant. Also, I want to say the presentation with this box and this makes it look like monks made it in Scotland. It, the presentation is is fantastic. Like wine monks. Desmond, are you out there? I was talking to my friends at the at Southwest Specialty Foods, and they thought that this was going to be perfect for both of us to eat specifically. Oh. So, do you think that one has the same sort of disaster? I bet you it does. We're not going to test it out though. Dude, uh, you're done. That's gonna be. A, that is a lot. It's, I mean, it's a. It's a fair amount. 
Don't, that's not gonna, you're gonna break your spoon. Actually, that's working amazingly well. Oh, you got more than me. Yeah. Dude, I don't want to be in this pain. You're gonna, this is gonna be a thing, dude. It, it might be a thing. Well, what's the mission when we get to the ghost pepper, dude? I'm not doing that much. I mean, you can't. I mean, Mine's like spread throughout Dude, the you got a lot. There's, so there, on the bottom side? There's absolutely, we're tied here. Okay. Oh, I might have more now. You might. All right, habanero. All right. Habanero mash. Again, very high in the salt, Matt. That's ketchup-y. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> it's, it's good, though. I like, ooh, that's hot. That's got, that, this, that's it's good. Not as, it's not as stingy. It's like intense heat. Yeah, it's more like more, stingy it's a more well-rounded heat, you know, but still very high on the salt side of it. But I'm trying to think what, what I would use this for. This would be good, like, on a burger or something like that. Like, yeah. It's got that, like, it's got the roastiness to it uh, that I really enjoy. This is, this is really good. It'd be good. It'd be good in pastas. Yes. Yeah. Like add this to like a tomato sauce or something like yeah, that. That'd be I'll really take one good. Of these. They send one for me. Yeah, you can have that one after we're done filming. Put it back, man. Oh, all right. This is like, these are cumulative though. Like that wouldn't be as hot without that. Absolutely. This is gonna be terrible. Yeah. This is gonna be very hot. And I, I don't really. I'm hoping it doesn't have that super hot. My flavor cheeks are to flustering because I do not enjoy the flavor of super hot. So I can tell you just by smelling it. Yep. This is gonna suck. Ooh. Dude, my tongue is stinging okay. already. I'm not. I'm doing that much. You're crazy, dude. This is gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy that. Mine always looks like an abstract art piece. The flavor of this, or not the, fl the flavor. The flavor of this is what I'm not looking forward to the most. I know there's stuff in my set, Casey. I know you got it in my light. This light's a week old. Let's go. Let's just get it over with. Come on. I don't want. I hate the flavor of super hot. Okay, so salt, uh, salt, bitterness, and then. Heat. Is this is your life. Go? This is your life on YouTube. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's like sweet. that's actually really good. It's like fruity flavor. It's very fruity. <clears throat> um, I gotta. <coughs> Ooh. Okay, the heat is ramping up for me pretty well. It's not for me. It's it's which scares me. It's it's no, it's definitely ramping for me. Um, okay, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say I like that way more than I thought I was going to. Yeah, but it doesn't. It's not as a distinct flavor as these. You know, it, it's fruity. No, to me, it had like it had. It, it was very fruit forward. Very, very fruit. Yeah, forward. it was fruity. Like I almost, I almost expected like oh, the I ghost pepper, the habanero, to taste like what the ghost pepper tastes like. Yeah, Whew. I agree. Um, but this was like I think these are like more bold than I thought they were gonna be, mm -hmm. and that was like kind of what I expected. So after these, I thought this was gonna be like a really like shocking absolutely moment. Um, I will say that I liked all three of them way more than I thought I was going to going They're in. They're good. They are very good. Um, I thought there was, like, when I first was, we were trying them, I thought there was There's gonna be like- Piece of a pepper. <laughs> like perfect representations of the pepper, and the pepper in their raw form isn't necessarily a good thing. You need to like lend that to a sauce or cook with it to make it its own thing. But these are absolutely their own ingredient now. Dude, I'm, it's not like, I felt like this was like kind of spiky in my tongue. That was just like an ominous heat. Mm -hmm. This, I don't feel it in my mouth as much, but I'm like sweating and yeah, crying. Yeah, abso absolutely. Bit. It's like uh, that cumulative when you're like eating like really hot Mexican food or Indian food or something yeah. like that, your head starts sweating. You know, you're like, that wasn't that hot, but like my body yeah, is showing that it's super hot. Um, all of these were super, super good. Um, good for cooking. Super good for yeah, cooking. Yeah, definitely cook for cooking. So like this one I wanted to make like in like like some sort of like avocado mash, like make a, why can't I talk, think of it? Or just drink it. Turn to make out of it. Hey, listen, just walk right up. <laughs> Don't. No, I won't. Uh, this one would be good in like pasta or like a salsa or something like this. And this one, I don't know, or like on pi on pizza maybe, or even on a burger. I'm trying to think of what the the best solution for this one would be. Mm. I think oh. these are really good. This I one mean, was like super fruit forward. I'd have to experiment with it. Yeah, like that might. Like I was blown away at how fruit forward that how might be fruity good this was for adding heat to uh, lighter dishes. Yeah, I guess maybe. Because I feel like the, the the flavor is more accessible. Like this is definitely like a hearty flavor, mm -hmm. more. And then this is like yeah, your Mexican esque. Absolutely. Flavor. This is uh, these are dangerous bottles, by the way. Like you just like just touch and like stuff just flies out of them. Some eyeballs in your kitchen can yes. go down in flames. It's, it's not really my mouth, but it's like I'm just keep on like now I'm like got snot. I can feel it in the pit of my my stomach like I normally do when it comes to these super hots. But the ghost pepper was way better than I thought it was. Anyways, uh, thank you to the fine folks at Southwest Specialty Foods for sending this over. You're the best. Uh, this gift kit set is ridiculous. It's very cool. Uh, thank you to Andy for for doing this with me. I cracked it in two places. You punched it and broke it and that's now a thing.
It makes it look old. This is a vintage set. <laughs> oh. Cases were stacked upon it. Uh, thank you guys for checking out as always. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next. Hey, this is Brian Ames. Uh, please click the subscribe button that you see right there, and uh, you'll subscribe to my videos. Uh, from now on, I'm going to be eating a lot of peppers. It's going to, oh man, it's going to be great. Bye.